the chicken salad sandwich. Classic, simple, and oh so delicious. In this episode, we're gonna make a homemade chicken salad sandwich that's gonna blow anything you've ever had out of the water and it's gonna elevate lunch to a whole new level. For the full ingredient list, check the description box below. But enough talking, let's get cooking. We're gonna skip the canned chicken. That stuff is super pricey and I find it's like never that good and the homemade stuff will blow it out of the water. So let's use these chicken breasts and we're gonna poach them with a little bit of flavoring, make even better shredded chicken. So I'm gonna take these chicken breasts and put them inside uh, this pot. And I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna use a small pot to keep everything all together. In the pot's gonna go a little bit of some fresh thyme. I got this right out of the garden. We're gonna put half a lemon in there. I'll squeeze it a little bit and then just put the rest of the lemon right in there. And then we got these three garlic cloves and I'm just gonna smash and put them in there, skin and all. We're gonna put two pinches of salt in there and a couple of peppercorns. Now I'm just gonna add some water until we cover the chicken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on top. We're gonna bring this to a boil on the stove. Once it's up to a boil, I'm gonna shut the heat off and just let them sit there and poach for about 10 minutes. That should cook them fully without overcooking them. I'll check the temperature right before, so as long as they're around that 165, 175, where I like chicken personally is 175, and they should be good. If not, I can just hit them for a little bit more. So in my chicken salad, I like to put eggs, so we're also gonna hard boil these two eggs. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna put them in this pot, I'm gonna fill the pot with water, I'm gonna put them on the stove, I'm gonna shed off the heat, and I'm gonna leave them there for about 10, 12 minutes. Same way we made the chicken. So while those are going on the stove, we're gonna use our handy dandy food processor to chop up the vegetables that go in this chicken salad. So first we're gonna throw in some of these baby carrots. I just use some baby carrots because this is what we got and it's carrots. I'm still gonna chop them up just a little bit. I wanna make sure that the food processor processes everything pretty finely. So I'm gonna help it out just a little bit. I'm gonna cut these into, into threes. So now I'll cut these celery, as I'm using about a stalk and a half, and I'll cut that down into small pieces, also throw it in there. I'm gonna put in a quarter of this gigantic red onion. Actually, this thing is really big. I'm probably only gonna put an eighth of it in. And I'll also cut that up into some smaller pieces and help out the food processor. So we're also gonna put a little bit of parsley in there, but I'm gonna pull the leaves off because I just really don't like parsley stems in anything. I think it's gross even if you're chopping them up really fine. So I'm just gonna take a couple of these sprigs and throw some, some parsley in there. I can get behind putting cilantro stems and stuff, but parsley stems, I don't know, they just never taste good and they always feel funny. So now we're gonna put the lid on and give this a little bit of a pulse. About halfway through, we'll take our silicone spatula, we'll push everything off the edges, right back down in there. Food processor helped a lot, but you gotta help the food processor. We'll do it one more time, because I think this is just a little bit chunkier than I would like. And now there are no big chunks in there, but we have it pureed it into a paste. So now that this chicken breast is fully cooked, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna put it right inside our stand mixer with the paddle on. We're gonna use this to shred the chicken. Start it off nice and slow to make sure the chicken doesn't fly out of there. Whoa. Okay, that looks about good enough. Well, unlock it. And you can see that this chicken is perfectly shredded for this chicken salad. Now that the chicken has been shredded, we're gonna peel these eggs and we're gonna throw them in there. And chicken salad is supposed to be an easy recipe, so we're trying to do as little work as possible. And even though you gotta wash both these things, they clean up pretty easy. These eggs will break up a lot faster than that chicken, so it's only gonna take just a couple of seconds to 
break those up for the chicken salad. Oh, this one's popping open, forgot to lock it. So now in this bowl, we're gonna add the smashed up egg and chicken. And if there's any big chunks of egg, I'll just give those a little extra of a smash. Now look how much chicken we made. The reason I like doing it this way is you get a lot of chicken out of those cans that are super pricey and you don't really get much out of each can. So now we're gonna add our processed vegetables. Chicken salad, supposed to be healthy. So let's cut out a little bit of the mayo and we'll cream it up with a little non-fat Greek yogurt. This is a great substitution for sour cream. Adds a bunch of protein without adding a bunch of calories. We are gonna add some mayo. So we'll put a little bit of this avocado oil mayonnaise in there, but way less than we normally would if we were just making this with mayo all by itself. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Now we're gonna put in a little sweet relish. So this is the stuff from Wickles. Wickles, I love your products. Send me some money, sponsor a video. Put a decent amount of that relish in there. Now we're gonna put in a little bit of this dry dill. This is enough dill for the rest of my life. A little salt, this is gonna be some black truffle salt. I thought the black truffle salt would be a nice touch. If you don't have truffle salt, just use regular salt, that's fine. And now we'll give this a mix. I mean, this is just chicken salad, but it smells unbelievable. And I'm really excited to try this. So now let's talk buns. So in a chicken salad, the only two really appropriate buns, actually probably three, you got your white bread, you got this brioche bun, and I'd probably also do it on a croissant. It's, it's gotta be something that's nice and soft. The chicken salad's super soft, and when you use a hard bread, your teeth bite into it, and all the chicken salad mushes out the outside of the bread. So you want something just as soft as the chicken salad because it's super delicate. So we're gonna use this brioche bun. So now we're gonna layer on this beautiful lettuce to protect that bottom bun from the soggy chicken salad. We're gonna slice up this beautiful beefsteak tomato. These are the perfect tomatoes to go on a sandwich. Always make sure that you're slicing them this way and not this way for a sandwich. And now for the star, beautiful scoop of this wonderful chicken salad on there. And we gotta make sure that there's enough. And now this sandwich is good to go. This is a, a very simple sandwich, but I am super excited to try this. I mean, I really love chicken salad and this looks unbelievable. I mean, the softness of the bun, the, all the details that go into the chicken salad, like adding an egg and especially making the own chicken and not using the canned stuff. I mean, you can use the canned stuff, but this is gonna be a big difference in between the canned stuff and you can taste the difference. Enough talking about it, let's eat it. I know I made it. Well, this is the best chicken salad sandwich. I've ever had my entire life. This is so good and delicious. Oh my God. Mm. You could put this in a wrap on top of greens inside a croissant. This is unbelievable. This is a delicious chicken sandwich. Mm. Mm. And I stand behind what I said. This chicken salad is so good, you could serve it for dinner. If you're into sandwiches, check out my Mississippi chicken sandwich. That's a really awesome chicken sandwich and uh, my take on McDonald's McRib. I'll see you there. Thanks.